In section B, you learned about the raw materials used in the manufacturing process. In this section, section C, you will consider the end products produced in your factory. After completing this section, you will be able to Describe the manufacturing process and the end products made in your factory. Describe the uses of the end products in terms of customer requirements. And describe characteristics and properties of processed mohair and wool. Let's begin by reviewing the manufacturing process followed in mohair and wool factories. To convert mohair and wool into yarn, five steps are followed. Classing and grading, scouring, carding, combing, and spinning. Like shearing, the grading of the raw mohair and wool essentially takes place before the bales are brought to the factory. This is an important component of the production process as the right quality fiber is needed for quality end products to be made. You can find more information on this in your handbook. Once in the factory, the fleece is scoured or washed to remove excess dirt and oils. Many years ago, this was done by hand, but today there are machines that can wash big loads at a time. In the case of wool, during the scouring process, wool grease is recovered and from this lanolin is extracted. Lanolin is used in cosmetics and skincare products. When the raw fleece is washed, careful attention needs to be paid to time, temperature and additives which are used to remove the grease in the fiber. Fleece can be easily damaged in the cleaning process so a careful routine needs to be followed in the factory. After the fleece of the moe or wool has been washed and dried, it is then carded. Carding involves placing fibers into uniform lengths. A sliver or coil of mohair called a carded sliver is produced. Carding can be done by hand but in factory scarding machines are used for this process. During combing, the fibers are passed through a series of straight metal teeth in order to lay them parallel to one another. Combing can also be done by hand by people working with small amounts of fleece at home. But in factories, combing machines are used to separate the long fibers from shorter ones and to remove any tangles in the fleece. At the same time, practically all remaining foreign matter is removed and the wool is transformed into a soft, luxurious wool top. After the mohair or wool fleece has been carded and combed, it is spun into yarn. This yarn is spun in machines according to specified structure, thickness or yarn count, and surface. Mohair and wool yarns are often twisted or brushed or raised for a fluffy appearance. There are a number of end products produced in the factories. These include worsted or woven cloth, yarn knitted into panels for garment production, and yarn which has been circular knitted for socks. Let us take a closer look at the uses of mohair versus wool yarn. Mohair yarn is used for hand or machine knitwear, lightweight suits, fabric for stoles and scarves, and warm blankets and durable upholstery fabric. It is often blended with wool for top quality blankets where the moe content makes the fabric warmer and at the same time lighter. Because its texture resembles fine human hair, moe is often used in making high grade doll wigs. Wool is most commonly used for making winter clothes because this fiber is warm and thick enough to resist cold temperatures. Other uses include making carpets and blankets. Wool is also used for making upholstery fabrics. There are, however, a vast number of other products made from wool and a few of the more interesting ones include mattress and furniture stuffing, tennis ball covers, piano hammers, insulation for houses, felt hats and toys. It is important to always consider the customer's requirements and to ensure that the mowing and wool produced is of a high standard to meet these requirements. Most of the quality control in the production of mowing and wool fabrics is done by sight, feel and measurement. Loose threads are removed with tweezer-like instruments called burling irons. Knots are pushed to the back of the cloth and other specks and minor flaws are taken care of before fabrics go through any of the finishing procedures. In 1941, 
The United States Congress passed the Wool Products Labeling Act. The purpose of this act was to protect producers and consumers from fake wool products. This law required that all products containing wool, with the exception of upholstery and floor coverings, must carry a label stating the content and percentages of the materials in the fabric. The wool mark is an internationally recognized registered trademark to identify products that are made from pure new wool, which also meets strict performance criteria. The Moe mark has been developed to help consumers select products that contain only the highest quality natural Moe fiber. Can you find a picture of the Moe mark in your work environment? Through your work, you would have come to realize that Moe and wool have unique and special characteristics. Let us spend some time thinking about these characteristics and properties. Firstly, these fibers are versatile, meaning they can be used in many ways. The end uses of Moe and wool is determined by the main fiber characteristics, which we also touched on in the previous section. Moe is called the noble fiber and sometimes the diamond fiber. Lustrous, resilient and offering exceptional color reflection, Moe has become a symbol of luxury and exclusivity. Moe fiber holds a number of rare natural qualities, including Moe's natural luster gives garments a silky sheen. It's the ideal garment to wear day or night. Moe fabric is luxuriously lightweight and renowned for its versatility, staying cool in summer and warm in winter. Moe responds magnificently to dyes, retaining even the most brilliant colors over time. Moe breathes naturally, absorbing and releasing atmospheric moisture and controlling its own climate to ensure optimal comfort. Moe is rated as one of the world's most durable fibers because of its pliability. Products made from Moe hold their shape and do not crease. Moe is virtually non-flammable, keeping you safe and chic all year round. Like Moe, wool is a 100% natural fiber. There are many factors which affect the quality of wool fabric, the kind of sheep from which the wool is obtained, its physical condition, the part of the sheep from which the wool is obtained, and the finishing processes are some of the factors which affect the properties of wool fabric. Special qualities of wool include Wool is the weakest of all natural textile fibers, but wool fabric is strengthened by the use of ply yarns. The fiber is remarkably elastic, and depending upon the quality of wool, it may be stretched from 25 or 30 percent of its natural length before breaking. This reduces the danger of tearing under tension and contributes to free body movements. Wool fabrics resist wrinkles. Wool has a natural waviness or crimp that helps it keep its shape. Wrinkles disappear when the garment or fabric is steamed. The excellent draping quality of wool is aided by its pliability, elasticity and resiliency. Drapability is one of the competitive features of wool fabrics over many man-made fibers. Wool is a natural insulator which keeps the body warm in winter. It is naturally breathable to keep the body cool in summer. Wool can easily absorb up to 30% of its weight in moisture without feeling damp. Wool fabrics dye well and evenly. When wool fabrics are dyed, the dye reaches the core of the fibers and bonds permanently. In this section we looked at the manufacturing processes and the end products made in your factory. The uses of the end moe and wool products and what consumers expect from these products and the characteristics and properties of processed moe and wool. We have now reached the end of section C. Before you continue to the next section, complete tasks 5, 6 and 7 in your workbooks. You will find the answers to the questions by reading through section C in your participant handbook. After completing the three tasks, you may continue to section D, which is all about the handling and storage of materials.